Hey guys, it's Regina with Regina T Gaming, and as some of you guys know, I recently bought a house. <laughs> now, this thing is not as pretty as she once was, but still going to make a beautiful, amazing project for me to work on, and I'll actually be doing a couple of live streams with it on Twitch, so don't forget to follow the links down below. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, you can always leave them in the comments as well. Um, but let's take a look at her. Um, so this is an old picture from quite a while ago. Unfortunately, she doesn't look like this anymore. Um, at this time, of course, naturally somebody was living in it, but not anymore. So without further ado, let's take a look at what she looks like now. As you can see from this video, she has been empty for a while. As far as I can tell, or from what the neighbors have said, she's been empty for about three to five years, give or take. Um, unfortunately, she did have squatters, which is pretty common where I live at, but the bones are still there. So she's actually cinder block walls um, on the exterior, as well as two interior walls as load bearing walls. She's missing part of her roof. So she's very, very dirty inside. This is actually done after we had cleaned up a bunch of the mess and opened it up a little bit so that we could breathe because it was real stuffy in there. Um, but overall, everything is still intact. So as I went through the house, I had to make some decisions of how we were going to fix it. And as you can see, most of the drywall has that yucky black stuff at the bottom. Yes, most of that is mold. Um, it, where we live at, it's not very common, but it does end up happening. So we have to be very, very careful as we take stuff out and wear masks and all kinds of stuff in order to make sure we don't get sick. Um, as far as we can tell, it's not the toxic kind. It's not going to hurt anybody, but still we need to be very, very careful. Um, the house itself is actually three bedrooms, as you can see through most of the video. Only has one bathroom, which is pretty sad, but there is an entire room, which will be my streaming room slash guest bedroom, which is super exciting. So I can't wait to actually be able to play with it and actually get going on it. Like I said before, I will be streaming live some of the demolition and the rehab process with this house. So this will be my new streaming house. That's why she was bought and that's what I'm going to use her for. I know she looks pretty bad right now, but don't judge a book by its cover. She's going to be beautiful once she's all done. So that's what she currently looks like. Now let's take a look at the concept drawings that I did for what I actually want her to look like in the end after she's all done. Now these are just rough estimates as to what I would kind of want her to look like. The entire concept is to allow me to have spaces throughout the location to be able to stream if I want to sit outside and just kind of relax while I'm on stream and then be able to go back into playing games or vice versa. So there's lots of space. I know she doesn't look super big, but she's actually about 1200 square feet. So I do have a lot more room than um, the average streamer in terms of space that I can use, especially because I'm designing this entire thing around me streaming. Um, that's my passion, it's what I love to do, so I'm just kinda going with it. So let's take a look at the actual concept drawing itself. So this is it. Um, it was done on floorplanner.com, they're absolutely amazing. If you guys are looking for something to design your, your future house with or, you know, either your current house as well or your apartment to kind of figure out how things will work. All of the dimensions that I actually have on here are accurate. I took dimensions from the house when I first got it and 
put them into here. Now the walls aren't very accurate and this wall in particular is actually wrong. That's where that built-in is and the built-ins are actually going to stay. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't allow for drawing that, but that's okay. I, I don't mind at all. So let's take a look at the 3D rendering because some of this stuff looks insane. <laughs> um, the actual streaming room, the main area is going to be in here. That's where the internet box will be, the router, the computers, all that stuff that'll run basically everything else. There are cameras. There's a camera here, a camera there, a camera here, another camera here, and there may end up one in the living room as well for when I'm actually live and wanting to just relax and not really have to worry about just being stationary in one singular room. It's going to be quite a feat. But as you saw in the video, the backyard definitely does not look like this. Now, of course, this back section over here is that rock wall and it comes up and there's a patio cover right here. So this entire area is going to be AstroTurf because, well, I hate mowing lawns <laughs> and I don't want to. So because of that, I'm going to put AstroTurf in, which will be great for the dogs because it's very hot here and grass doesn't always grow, but they do like the feeling of it. And there's some amazing AstroTurf products out there um, nowadays to make it look really good. Um, the patio itself, this water heater is going to remain outside. There's the window for the actual streaming room where you can actually see in. There'll be curtains and stuff. Um, we're going to put an air conditioner unit somewhere up here to make it so that it's not on the roof. It's a little more shaded because we do get over 130 degrees on average in our summers. So it needs to be protected to try and keep my house a lot cooler. And that way my air conditioner is not working so hard against the actual temperatures. Um, also going to install a camera outside so that I can sit on the patio, smoke, do whatever I need to do where I don't do that stuff inside, but I don't want to always have to go on a break screen just to be able to do that. Now, going into it, this door, of course, doesn't exist yet, but this is about what I want the door to look like. Very open, very, very wide. All the windows are super large. They've let in a lot of light, which is always great. This is representing the big built-in that's currently there. It definitely doesn't look like that, but it is what it is. This is the utility room. It's the first room that I walked into in the original video. The washer and dryer are going to go here, brand new counters across there, doggy area, and of course I don't drink the water here, so water cooler. Always important. Um, the one that I actually have has a dog dish on it, and it's amazing. You should definitely look at it if you have dogs. It's definitely helpful. My dogs are definitely spoiled. So into the kitchen. Galley style kitchen. Amazing drop down light, make it look real pretty. Um, originally I was going to do everything in gray cabinets on the bottom, white on the top, and then I decided, nah, more of an eggshell color, light colored counters, make it very, very light. Tiles on the backsplash won't go up the wall. <laughs> they certainly do here. Or maybe I will take them all the way up the wall. I don't know yet for sure. Um, I know it'll have a backsplash very similar to this. Um, I like it. <laughs> it's my house. Open cabinet doors, just like on the built-in for the dining room. Big fridge. I doubt I'm going to go with the Samsung after all. I think I'm just going to keep it very, very simple. Amazing stove. Has to be an amazing stove because I do like to cook. Um, and then, yeah. So I already have this tile, um, which is why it's funny colored compared to everything else. We bought... It's 24 by 24 Italian marble tiles for about a hundred bucks to cover about 200 square feet. So I should have plenty of tiles sitting in my wonderful um, shed right now to do the floor in the kitchen. We are going to have to rip out all of the counters on this side because they're made of MDF, so they're garbage. The counters that you actually saw on the other side, on this side here, they may not actually get ripped out. I might just try and work around them because they are original to the house and are on a concrete wall. So this entire wall here is actually concrete. This side is drywall. So very, very different um, looking things. There's a big box right here as well above the counters or above the cabinets, I mean. 
So we'll have to figure out what all is in there. It may have been um, ducting for the original central air system, which no longer exists. It could be a number of things. So that's probably going to come off, which will give me some room up here to kind of store stuff if I need to or put some decorative nonsense. And then into the dining room. Again, this wall is those built in. So there's this piece here you can see through and this piece here you can see through. So it's one big open area, but with a built in the middle that I think is really pretty. Um, round table just to kind of work with the space. Again, another beautiful chandelier. And yes, I am going to put wallpaper on a wall. I love wallpaper. I don't know why. I really do. Crown molding all the way around. Um, gorgeous baseboards as well, which I already picked out. And then let's go into living room. So again, living room does not look like this. The original picture that I showed you had the French doors on the front, which I really wish they wouldn't have taken them off, but they did. So we're going to try and put them back. Um, if you actually look at, let me see if I can find it. If you look at this photo, the French doors are actually there. So hopefully with a little bit of luck, we can find a decently priced set of French doors to put here um, just so that it just feels super open. That's kind of the whole thing. Light paint colors. I'm not for sure on the paint. I do like this wallpaper though. I think it's pretty. Um, but wallpaper is not cheap, so I have to be careful. Shelving, little seating area. Um, I'm going to put storage under the bench for shoes, other things, possibly a coat rack here, just so that, you know, when you come in, you can put that there. But we don't really wear coats here. It's too hot. Um, it's even hot in this stinking winter. So bookshelf, bookshelf over here. That heating unit that's on the wall now is going to go. It's not going to be replaced. Our winters aren't cold enough for me to really warrant using something like that. So I have to come up with a new concept as to what I want it to look like. Um, with the living room being more of this rectangle shape, it makes it a little more difficult. But entry, living room. <laughs> so they're two different spaces, but still within the same room. Big carpet, chair for me just to relax and read because I do that when I'm not on stream. And then we go over here. So this is the room that everybody wants to see kind of what my idea is. Um, but let's go into Allison's room first. And her room and the streaming room may actually swap places. Um, I might end up using this room instead of the room next door for it. It's a little bit bigger, but I'm going to let Allison pick which one she actually wants. Um, and then we'll go from there. So just simple bed, amazing closet, which is actually has a built in stuff in there. But this room is very dark because the windows are fully boarded and I couldn't get them off. So I'm going to go in and double check all of that, make it very, very pretty, kind of darker furniture, but very light flooring. Then we'll go over to my room. Yeah, I'm not keeping the pink wall. That's going to be wallpapered, but the blue is staying. So again, super light. Everything has to be light because here we have amazing natural light. Um, and I want to take advantage of that. So with the natural light, using the windows and kind of making all the paints a little bit lighter in color, here's the outside of it. So you can actually see all the way through. It's absolutely gorgeous. There'll be curtains and stuff during like the hot time of the day, but the overhangs on the house and the porches actually keep this direct sun out of these. So you still get a lot of that amazing natural light. Um, this is that closet. Yeah, I did draw that in there because, well, it needs to be. And then the bathroom. So we have the tile already for this. We've used this tile before. It's amazing. It's a porcelain. Um, super durable. We have it in another bathroom in the current house. So, and then I am going to put pink, light pink tile in the shower. So it's very pink and, you know, white, very girly because it's my house. It's not anybody else's house. Allison, I'm sure, will love it. Um decorative antique style thing here to put toothbrushes and things on cute little mirror some shelves for makeup medicine cabinet up and away from small children because well i have small children um but overall it's just absolutely 
adorable. Now I did think about closing that closet off and opening this wall here for it uh, and making the linen closet more in the bathroom rather than in the hallway, but I haven't really made up my mind. In the bathroom, this section here is also gone. Um, so I'm not sure if there was another closet there. If there was, it's not going back. It's just so cramped in here. This bathroom is very small. So I may take a section out of my closet in the other room um, or even on this side to try and kind of open it up, make it feel a little bit wider. Um, but I think overall it'll be super pretty. So I'm going to use as much wallpaper, mostly recessed lighting or um, surface mounted lighting. Switches and plugs will be everywhere. And then into yeah. So streaming room, camera here above my main setup, which I currently run a two monitor, actually three monitor setup, um, but computer here, actual television to sit and play Call of Duty or my PS4 Xbox games here with a camera directly pointed at the couch so I can just relax. And then another camera here just for a side angle if I don't really want to use this front one. That's the great thing about the current technology is we have a lot more freedom to do different things. Of course, I will have to buy a second PC, but that is coming. Um, and that's the goal for this entire setup is probably multiple PCs or at least a laptop that's able to power the streaming portions of everything. Um, but yeah, so that is the wonderful house concept in its entirety. Again, potentially this streaming room and this bedroom are going to swap places. Um, I just haven't quite made up my mind. Let me know what you think down in the comments below um, or provide any suggestions for what I should possibly add as far as equipment and other things that you like. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you actually like this video. Again, this house was bought to make an entire streaming facility for me. Um, as things get bigger and as we get a larger community, hopefully we can add new things and get some awesome pieces to put in there. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe under Meet this video. Also leave me a comment um, with any suggestions or um, materials that you think that I should put in the house itself. I'm always open to changes and taking a look at the different things that we could do. Also catch me on Twitch TV um, slash Regina T Thursdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as we start to rip this house apart because all the drywall has to go um, and start putting it back together. Again, that's 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Regina T. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I certainly am going to go enjoy mine as I get ready for Thursday's demo. Um, I got to go buy a sledgehammer. So I will catch you guys Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Have a great day.